Key fob has left the vehicle. Yes. It sure has. Welcome back. My name is Brandon Hainline, your Jeep informant. And today we're going to find out how the Jeep behaves when we remove the key from the vehicle after it's running. Will it come out of park? Will the vehicle cut off? Will it keep running? I don't know. We're going to find out. So this is how it's going to go down. We're going to be doing several different tests. The first test, we're going to see what the vehicle does when you remove the key and the vehicle's running and it's in park. If this does happen, could you even take it out of park? I'm not sure. We're going to find out. Now the second thing we're going to do is toss the keys out the window while the vehicle is in motion and we want to see how the vehicle behaves under that scenario. All right, how smart are my viewers? Cast your vote up here in the top right corner. Will the vehicle remind you if the key falls out of the vehicle while driving down the road? I'm assuming it's going to remind us, so let's find out for sure. First of all, let's fire this puppy up. All right, it's reading. This is going to be interesting. Getting this powered on here. Searching for GPS's. Or GPS's, geez Louise. Searching for GPS. All right. Never works as planned. Magnetic interference. All right. The engine is running. The vehicle is in park. So we're going to remove the drone and the key away from the vehicle and see what happens here. Now the door is open. So this scenario is real. Let's say you and your wife go to the store. You forgot your key. She has hers in her purse. She goes into the store. Now you're stuck with the car. And let's see what happens. All right. So when the door is shut, it automatically lets us know that the key is not in the vehicle. All right. And that, I expected that. All right. Let's check this out. Will it come out of gear? Sure will. It comes out of gear. That's interesting. All right. So can we go anywhere? Yes, we can. And we're going places. All right. Interesting. All right. So if someone has taken the key while you're in the park position, it does tell you and you can go chase them down and get your key back. All right. Now we get to have a little bit of fun and get this key a little bit further away and see if we get any different results. Key fob has left the vehicle. Yes. It sure has. All right. Well, it seems like that this allows you to go wherever you want to go and it not be an issue. Driving around the parking lot here and it's still showing Key has left the vehicle, but no. All right, so if the key leaves the vehicle while you're in park, you can drive around all you want to, and it just keeps dinging at you that the key has left the vehicle. Now, let's go ahead and bring this thing home and get on to our second test. Ooh, nice landing on top of the Jeep. Sweet. All right, on to our second test. We're going to lose the keys while we're driving and see how long it takes to get notified. All right, I'm going to toss them out right here in the grass. All right, as you can see, there's the keys in the grass, and let's see how long it takes to be notified. How far do we go before it tells us? Oh, further than I thought. Way further than I thought. All right, the keys are over there in the grass, and I have still yet to be notified. Oh, boy. All right, so that's not cool. That's not cool at all. I did not know that. All right, so let's try to do it. I am a good half mile away, easily. Easily. Actually, if you want to see up there, look at that. You see that big church? That's where the keys are at, way over there. Very interesting, very interesting. All right, we're gonna go back and get the keys. And guys, I do apologize for having the mic on, but with the open air, this is this is the best audio that I'm going to be able to have. 
The keys are over there. I and I am not believing. I am not believing that this thing this still has not told me yet. Let's just I just want to see. I'm all the way over here. Let's see what happens if I stop. I mean it doesn't even detect. It still doesn't detect that there's no key. So I'm gonna turn it off. Turn it back on. Alright, okay, I'm in. Okay, okay, stop start was activated. Ha! <laughs> Scared me there for a second. I was like, what in the world? All right, put it in part. Still no key to... T still not showing me. Good. All right, I just cut it off. No key fob detected. Oh, my gosh. Now... <laughs> oh, crap. I'm all the way over there. All right, be right back. I seriously thought I lost him. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Alright. So she fires up perfectly now because we've got the keys. Alright, so that was interesting. I was very surprised about that. Very surprised. Alright, we learned something today big time. Seriously, guys. Uh, this is not cool. So if you lose your key while you're driving, okay, it don't tell you. It does not tell you. I, I really would be curious of how far I can go. I mean, it doesn't even tell you. If it told you, it'd be different. If it said, key not detected, then I'd be like, oh crap. Go back and find the key. But it doesn't even tell you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave my keys uh, with my buddy at the shop. I'm gonna see how far I can go. All right, when I drop these keys off, I'm gonna leave the vehicle in drive or reverse. I'm not going to park. If I call you, come get me. Just don't shut it off. I know, it don't even tell you, dude. It don't even tell you that you lost the key. Really? Mm -mm. I went like half a mile, didn't tell me. I'm gonna see how far I can go. All right, guys, we're gonna see how far we can go. How far can we go without any keys? I don't have any keys. Still has not told me yet that it is I, I, I would not expect this I did not expect this at all watch me get stuck like in the middle of an intersection or something that's the only thing I can think of is that it just doesn't constantly search for a device you know like maybe it would Wi-Fi or Bluetooth you know is always searching on your phone for the next device to connect to the vehicle doesn't do that. I am now getting on the interstate. All right, guys, I'm pushing almost three miles. So it's, it's definitely not going to tell you. I mean, you could drive until you run out of gas, and then you would know. But uh, and <laughs> wherever you stop, that's where you're going to know it. Uh, this is crazy. I want to head on back to the shop. I'm really, I'm really, really, really surprised about this. I really do not think that you could go this far and I know I've said this like four times already I'm just I would think this day and age this you know this is 2018 that if you lost your key if, if this is a system like this where you can't put the key in and the opportunity is the where it can be you know nobody's gonna throw it out on purpose but you know if if something were to happen you got your doors off you know you're four-wheeling with your doors off and you know, it slips out of your pocket, and it's out. You're never going to know it. You're never going to know it. Not until you cut it off. You're screwed. Completely screwed. Completely. Let me see my keys. Three point seven miles. Unbelievable. All right. So if you haven't noticed, I'm a little surprised. We can what if all day, but the scenario is real. If the key leaves the vehicle, 
you get no type of recognition that the key has left the vehicle until it searches for that key again. There's where our problem is going to be. Mm. Really, really, really surprised about this. Man, this is crazy. Well, guys, I can't explain this. I'm going to have to do some research. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you've learned something now, and I hope you're smarter now than you were before you started this video. I'm actually more confused, actually. So I'm really not smarter. Well, maybe it is smarter. I'm not sure. I'm, not, I'm Seriously, I'm more confused. I, I'm, this is crazy. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Be safe out there. Don't lose your key. All right? Don't lose key. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Be safe out there. We'll see you next time. All right? I want to give a shout-out to my current patrons. Thank you so much for your monthly support. It's much appreciated. And don't forget to use the Amazon link for all your Amazon purchases. A small portion of what you buy does go towards helping this channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day.